Hey guys, we are outside the garage. And in this video feature, I'm going to take this Farm Fresh Tokheim 34 gas pump that unfortunately somebody painted white latex paint over that you can see here. And they covered up the original Chevron colors and finish, which is really a shame. I love these pumps. I love the Art Deco look. I went out and purchased some wet and dry sandpaper and I am going to attempt to wet sand off the white latex paint and try to bring back the original Chevron colors. This wet and dry sandpaper package came with basically six different grits. I'm going to start with a 180 grit and some water and start sanding this white latex paint off hopefully. Now I'm not going to go too far with it. I want to leave a little bit of white here and there um, to add some character. If there's some red crazing coming through I want to leave that and uh, we'll just take it one step at a time and you guys can enjoy this video feature as we move forward. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I think this is going to turn out nice. You can see the original Chevron cream color. Chevron used green and cream colors on their Supreme gas pumps. And the white now is coming off of the cream. You can see the cream being revealed right here and the green obviously being revealed. This is gonna look sharp. Here's an example of a Chevron Supreme Wayne 70. These are factory colors for Chevron Supreme gasoline. Another example, side by side, Chevron Supreme on the right, Chevron regular on the left on the Wayne 70. Just showing you the factory color schemes for Chevron. Gil Barco on the right. As you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to bring back some of the original patina on this pump. Look at that. I love the red coming through. Definitely not going to go too far with this. That way the red stays. That's really a neat look right there in my opinion. Comes off pretty easily. I started sanding on the top. I mean, look at that green paint coming out. I also sanded a little on the bezels. Watch how easy this, this white paint comes off. Watch this.
And what was that? One, one, two minutes. We'll get some better lighting here soon, but it's coming along. I just took off the window bezels and cleaned this face. Look how beautiful this face turned out. This is an original face, not reproduction. Really cleaned up nicely. Even the side spears, look how beautiful they look. It's amazing after all these years. Let's see how this thing turned out so far. A very special thank you goes out to Todd and Jessica in Nebraska for providing this Chevron original pump plate. Well, I am very pleased with the outcome. As you can see, the original Chevron colors have come back along with some red that is revealed from under the Chevron cream color, which I think just looks awesome. I know not everybody is into a patina type finish like this, but for some reason this is what I enjoy the most about collecting gas pumps. I like originality. I like things that actually look old, that have a story behind them. Every single one of these pumps that we collect has a story or a history behind it. Look at the colors on this. Think of the guys and gals that have serviced cars from these dispensers. I love the Art Deco look. The tops on these just amaze me. Think of the stamp steel mold or die that it would take to punch out that top. I like visit gauges. Obviously, I put a new hose and a, a old brass nozzle somewhere. I have an old white cloth hose that I might put on this, but I just love the look of this pump. This has been a fun project, but let me tell you, the project isn't over yet because you have not heard this pump run yet. My goal is to finish off this video with this pump in running condition. Stay tuned. Don't skip to the end and watch the entire video, please. Thank you. going to try to make this run. I can't resist. It's a little frozen up, but I'll work on it a little more here and then we'll try to fire this thing off. Everything's pretty well frozen up, so I removed this vent line right here. That goes up to the air separator, which is right there. This is the meter, in case you're not familiar with these. This is the pump unit. This is the electric motor. I also removed this access port right here on the side of the pump, and I sprayed PB Blaster in there, as well as here. And fortunately, fortunately it's getting better the more I work it. Ten minutes later, the lubrication is starting to work its way in there, the penetrating oil, and the, even the squeaking is gone. This thing might run.
Okay, I removed this piece of conduit that was coming out of the motor because somebody had cut it off, you know, where the wires came out and I couldn't get to the wire ends. So I unloosened that, pulled that out, the wires came out of the conduit and I stripped the wires, put on some wire nuts and had a cut off extension cord piece. By the way, if you guys ever throw out an old appliance and it has a heavy enough cord, save the old cord, cut it off the appliance and throw it in a box. This is the on off switch. I removed the on off rod because that's all frozen up above. I just want to test this out and see if it runs tonight. So I'm going to go to the other side. I've got a light on. Now getting dark, I'm gonna carefully reach in, turn on the switch. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Now. I bet this thing would actually pump fuel. We are nearing the end of this video. One more look at this Tokheim 34. I am thrilled with the way the original Chevron colors have been revealed from under the white latex paint. I probably enjoyed this project more than any other pump project that I've worked on recently. The Chevron original pump plate looks nice on it. I like how it has the green stripes up the sides with the cream in the middle. That's typical of the way they painted pumps in the 30s and 40s for the Chevron branding. Overall, I am thrilled with the outcome of this project and I hope to present you, my viewers, more projects like this in the future. Thank you for watching my videos.